Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell and Springo Ford Art Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. This is some press and seal, same as this, that I've ripped off, be careful, and cut into size pieces that I can use to cover foam brushes. I've done the little stamp tool. I found these at either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I'm not sure. I found that the lid would make a great handled swipe card, so I'm going to try that today. I'm going to try and trick myself into doing some kind of skate, but first I'm going to show you how I applied this. I'm going to put that about halfway through, make it even on both sides, give it a bit of a press, pull up the corners. I think that piece is too big. I think it should have been a lot smaller, but in any case, as soon as I get it up there, as long as I have a fairly straight piece across the bottom, I didn't do that very well, <laughs> I can still pull with it. Now they only last like through one or two times anyway because the friction from the canvas or even just the paint is enough. So that one I'm going to... Yeah, I better get better at this pretty quick. I'm going to smooth that one up, push up the corners. And bring it up. So I've got three little swipe tools. Actually, that's more of a stamping tool, but I've got two swipe tools and I've got a big box of those. And I think they were like five bucks for all of those. So what I did yesterday was a really cool swipe from the center out and it was just straight. And basically what I did was use my mead and white and my mead and black and some other stripes of color. Oh, come on. I just cleaned you out. That's not even funny. Okay, maybe it's a little funny. Let's see if I can try. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's just a little tiny flake of paint is all it takes. So I'm going to do that twice, and it might be too much. But I figure if I do the bottom half, then I can do the sky some other way if this is going to be a scapel like thing. I'm not going to put same combinations everywhere I don't think. That's some mysterious which is just a really deep teal. This is a green that might be metallic that's so old I have no idea what it is but I know that when I made the metallic back when I did this it was iridescent pearl fine that went in there from golden. This is some green gold color shifting paint from Folk Art. You can find it on my Amazon link. Um, I would shop around. I noticed the price was obscene there today when I looked for somebody and gave them the link. But um, I think occasionally there are craft outlets out there that are offering a much better price. So I, I really want to try most, this is <laughs> mostly greens with this scape idea today and I'm not sure how that's going to work. I know I want some gold. And I might put it on the other side too. I also, I don't know if I could do green without purple, so I'm going to use some. Put some more gold over there. There I go, making a painting again, Tara. See? <laughs> you called it. I'll just put a little bit. I don't know what I'll do with the top of this. Obviously, the bottom is going to be. I'm going to go up, I think I'm going to go up a little bit with my swipe card because I'll have residual paint on it. I wanted to put some copper in here and I just about forgot about that, but I do have some and I think I will put it in. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, so let's try whatever first. Let's try one of these little puppies. Hopefully my line is somewhat straight. I was going to use just a long sheet. No, you know what? I want to use this other tool first. Ha! I want some black up there. Because I think the mead and black is the thing that makes everything sell the best. Not that that amount of it that I'm putting on there is really going to make a difference, but it might.
as soon as I get some residual, I'm going to want to fill in the places that don't have coverage. I can for certain to use some green today in a swipe. I'm just going to wipe that right off on the edge. I like this card. You could just use a sheet of acetate or whatever you want. But those are pretty. And I got a little handle to hang on to. I feel so clever. At, uh, Ray, Ray set, told me she said everything in her house is now suspect of being a new paint tool. I understand, Ray. Ray watches a lot of my YouTube videos. Chances are good she'll have watched a thousand of them before this one airs. All right, here goes nothing. I'm going to pull that right over to the edge. I'm going to use all of the residuals to cover it as best I can. I want to go sideways here, but if I do that, no, I want to use my little tool. That's what I got it for, right? It's going to be a different texture, I can tell. Oh, it's so nice on the edges. It just works like a charm on the edges. Nice amount of residuals to use on the edges too. So there's my first pretend scape. Maybe I can use this to get some of that paint off there. Oh, look at that, I can. And it's not soaking into the sponge because the sponge is protected by a layer of, what is it, cling wrap, glad, press and seal. Love press and seal, been using it for a long time. I noticed other people are starting to use it too, which is a good idea for all kinds of things. Much, much better than alternatives. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I want to kind of go in the other direction now, but I want to put sky in before I do anything else. I want to clean off this card because I want to use it again. Maybe for the sky. So bear with me for a moment. Like tap the water off. So let's just do the sky with what? Do I dare? I might dare anything right at this point. That was um same as this is, an Anita's White Metallic. And I'm going to use that card again just to see how I feel about it. I'm going to wipe it off first though. See how far it spreads and stuff like that. Ooh, we got a pink cloud. I don't mind if it mixes, so I can put as much pressure on as I want for this experiment. I can even scrape across if I'm brazen, and I am. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Since it's just pink and white, there's not much room for mistakes. I do feel like putting some purple in there, but I think I'm going to use another little layer of the Unita's White Metallic and a little bit of Arteza Pearlescent, I don't know what it's called, honestly. I'm probably going to swipe up and then swipe across again. 
but I'm inclined to push down to push down that way. Yes. Use my residuals. It's a very pink sky. It's kind of a weird color combination. I'm gonna bring this over to the edge so I can attempt to scrape off my card and then use it by slapping it. Slap it around. I should be using my little foamy brush and I probably could, but I'll wait for a moment and see what else I've got left over. All right, let's see what happens now. Still want orange at the bottom, but that's really not gonna help me out a lot. Oh, I got too much canvas there in the center. And I need something in there. So put a little bit of pressure on until I drag some paint over there. Okay, so that's a pretty gentle little sky. Now it's time, if I want, to take the bottom half. I'm just gonna scrape that right off, leave it along the edge. So that is what it is, and now if I'm going to do something else, it's going to be pretty gentle. Put a little bit more gold in there, and maybe, I, don't, I think the Prussian blue is calling me. I know it sells with gold, even without any meaning. just being ever so careful of how much. I'm not sure the green even belongs in there. So now, do I take this other little foam brush? Not sure what I'm doing, but it, it looks kind of different. <laughs> I want to use my other tool again. I gotta wipe it off on something first though. Excuse me while I take a moment. Just gonna raise it up to the point where it meets the sky that I just put in there. Kinda looked like there were some trees in the background. I guess I could add some with my tweezers, which is what I like to do, since I've got a dark color there anyway. Well, that's kinda different, I like it. If I've got any little canvasy spots, I'll just use, I would usually use the dull end of the, of the uh, skewer because the sharp end is dangerous, very dangerous. All right, I like my cells. I like my weird little scape. I'm gonna grab a little bit of not sharp end where I see there's some paint. And call it good. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, in the, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm so glad you joined me. If you're subscribed, thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. We're so happy that you're here. Truly. Alright, so whatever else I do to that sky will be another day. And right now, this is just a very surreal or abstract Expressionist. Whatever it is, it's an Expressionist scape. 
I didn't put any trees in yet, but that doesn't mean I won't. I'm not sure there's a reason for them, but I'm not sure about anything either. So let me find either my palette knife, the tweezers I just had here have gone where? Oh no! Okay, let's just use the palette knife. So just pulling little little filaments up from the darkness looks like trees along the horizon to me. And I don't think I'm the only one. I could put some clouds in that sky, but I don't think I need to. Just dipping into some black. So whatever it is in the foreground, it's definitely looking back to something. I see that there's some canvas there and I don't want it there and I'm going to steal some black and fill in that gap. I like it. Trees, trees and more trees. You could also have a little dish of black. So that's pretty cool. I still am craving an orange stripe in that sky, but at this point, if I even tried to put anything else in, it wouldn't work. But tomorrow I could do that because the orange with the iridescent pearl fine in it from Golden is very sheer. And I could just put a little smear across there. My sky is good. I love you guys. I want you to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, make sure that you, whoops. <laughs> Make sure that you check on my over 1,800 videos on my playlists that you can find on my YouTube channel by going to Created Playlists, All Playlists, or mentioning that you're new and what you like, and I'll send you, I'll, I'll include a link when you communicate with me. Thank you for the wonderful comments, by the way. You guys keep my morale boost, and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for the donations, too, that help keep, help keep me painting and bringing you new videos. If you are interested in supporting the studio, the best possible way you can do that is to purchase an artwork. But if you can't purchase an artwork, there's all kinds of other ways to help, including watching the videos longer, watching when, they, when the notifications come out. I'm just touching up my edges. Um, what else? What else? Give me a thumbs up. That helps. Sharing my videos definitely helps. Watching them longer helps. Watching them when the notifications... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> The link tree underneath the video has all my links on it. My website, my email address is below the link tree, but on the link tree are Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and More is for shopping my pixels.com and Fine Art America, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has albums of artworks from YouTube. Uh, you can all, always search a YouTube video by the by the hashtag number, the file number in the title, and you can also request purchase by using that same hashtag and file number when you contact me through the email below the link tree. On the link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Twitter is usually the same day and a video. Pinterest has boards of merchandise and videos. Instagram is where I post my dailies. Um, my Amazon link is where you can find my two books because I can at Unlimited Possibilities. If you shop there, it's at no what it costs you and it helps me out. It helps me buy art supplies eventually. And um, you can find my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula there, which is awesome. And my uh, Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. You can find a lot of stuff there. And if you can't find stuff there, just ask me and I'll give you the link because I know where they all are. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 1.30 in the afternoon most days, Eastern Standard Time, and uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night at 10 p.m. also. Oh, you know what? I did not zoom in. <laughs> How tricky of me. Can I, you know what? I'm going to move that up here so you have a chance to see it better. Those cells are awesome. That's the Meaden paint, the black and the white I use. I don't use it any of, with any of the I don't use the Meaden colors yet, and you can find the Meaden on my Amazon link also. So I still think I might want an orange streak in that sky, but I don't know that I need it either. Boy, my camera's just being hard to deal with. All right, you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.